What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode with your host, Brooka TV. So, thank you for joining me on this new SMS vi SMS video. Ladies and gentlemen, we got something to talk about, all right? Something that happened to me at work, and it's quite crazy. So, let's get right into it. I was at work one day, right? Like when we, okay, sorry. Let's start from the beginning. One day, we we had just opened the place where I work at, the half half smoke shop, half liquor store. We got a customer, and uh, <clears throat> we gonna call her Tuli. All right, I'm pretty sure you can imagine what name that rhymes with, so you can probably figure it out, but. Tuli showed up. She is a Caucasian woman, and she is, um, I think, 56, if I'm correct, or somewhere around that, uh, somewhere on that range. And she was one of our uh, dailies, daily customers. Because she would uh, buy a bunch of the 50 mLs, the, the, the $1 shots. She would buy uh, four, go, and then she'd come back later on, buy another four, and stuff like that. So, you know, since she would go every day, like, we, we would, we felt that, that we were starting to form a a friendship so to speak over just uh, other customers because um she would uh she would ask if she can relax there for a little bit and uh we would say yes uh, uh we as in my boss and uh, my other homie and myself so we would we would let her chill there and she would start talking and sometimes she would get emotional and she would start crying and she would start, uh, you know, just just being emotional and stuff. And, uh, okay, look, that, that went on for a while, right? That went on, that went on. And we she sometimes she would say, oh, well, I, I don't have any friends. And, like, I only have my dog and blah, blah, blah. And we told her, hey, well, you know, if you need a friend, you know, we'll be your friend, you know what I mean, like, on, on, on some real shit, you know, like, well, I'll be your friend, you know what I mean, uh, all three of us, so, you know, she, she, it's like, she, how should I put it, I think she didn't really believe us, and she was like, yeah, fuck it, whatever, you know, so, um, it, it got to a point that Tuli would show up and she would start uh, doing some things she wasn't supposed to do. I'm not going to elaborate on what, but she would be told not to do it and she would still do it. And um, then she, she started bringing her dog in. I'm not going to lie, the dog's cute. It's a cool dog. It looks pretty chill. But it it would piss everywhere, and then it, we'd have to start cleaning it, and then eventually we just got her to clean it, but she wouldn't even clean it right, so we would have to clean it again, or we would just mop everything. So eventually it got to the point that, um, you know, we told her, you know, we're sorry, we, we like the dog, he's cool and all, he's cute, but uh, you can't bring him in here anymore because it's becoming a, a, a hassle, a problem, uh, him pissing, uh, you know, and one time he took a shit in there and she didn't even notice, I, we didn't even notice, and uh, the dog took a shit in a little corner somewhere. And I noticed it when I came out to restock the inventory. 
I noticed it, and from right there, we told her, you know what? That dog is not back. He's not allowed back into the store, so you know, I'm sorry, but it is what it is. And I don't know why the fuck, but she got offended, okay? And, and this is, like, child uh, type of um, reactions that she would do. Like, I... Officially, as soon as we told her, she was like, okay, no, no, I understand, I understand, I understand. You don't have to explain, I understand. And it, it, it's like, what the fuck? I mean, we have, to under, we have to explain it to you for you won't get mad and for you can understand why, but then she reacts like that, like, I understand, I understand. Like, you don't got to say anything. And it went from that to her, you know, coming every day and buying stuff. But as soon as she would enter the door, I mean, I don't know why she wouldn't just, you know, leave the dog in the car with the windows cracked at least halfway. You know what I mean? At least, because I don't think he'd be able to get out. I mean, he's he's a small little dog, you know what I mean? So um, she would always force the dog to stay outside of the store. And as soon as she would walk in, she'd be like, oh, you're not allowed in here anymore. You're banned here. So, you know, you have to stay out here. Like, without even saying hi, without, you know, hey, how you doing? How, how was going on? Or, hey, what's up, guys? Nothing. That's the first shit she throws out. You know, so right there, boom, you, you're already agitating a motherfucker. You know what I mean? And she would keep doing it. Like... All randomly, she would just be chilling there with us, and she would say, "Yeah, but my dog's not. My dog's banned here now, you know." Like just random as fuck, random, bro. So she would also put stuff into uh, words in our mouth. In other words, she would put words in our mouth. She she would like walk around the store and be like, "No, well." You guys said you, you guys didn't like the dog, and, and then there we go. We didn't say we didn't like the dog, uh, or we said we just couldn't have him in here anymore. We said we liked him, that we do like him, but she would say, oh, well, it's because, you know, nobody likes my dog or whatever. Uh, and, and I was just like, what the fuck? Why is she acting like that? That's like little kid shit, you know, or like some teenager type shit. Like, just, like, nagging and just bitching and bitching over this, this, something so stupid. You know what I mean? And let me tell you this, too, bro. Uh, she she got a tab, basically. She would get a tab. Look, this is how much of a friend we thought of her than more than a client. Because we do not open tabs with anybody uh, at the store, you know what I mean? Like, no, because you know they're going to run off and not pay you. So we opened a tab with her because we thought we were her friend, and she, and I, I thought she, that, that she would think that we were her friends. So, you know, the boss cleared it. Cool, yeah, go ahead if she wants something. Just, you know, front it to her, and she'll pay it back the same day or the next day. You know what I mean? So that that went on for a while as well. And, well, look, let's just say that it got to the point that one night she asked if she could come and chill with us. And it was my boss and myself. My other homie, he was not there at that day. So there's just three people in the store at the moment, okay? She, <clears throat> look. <sighs> She took a tab of up to twenty dollars, I think, that day. She just get she just kept getting I think she got cigarettes and uh, a bunch of shooters and then a bunch of shooters on the second time she or uh, bought stuff. So two times separately she went and she racked it up to twenty dollars, right? So the day comes up that she's there chilling with us and as she had been told not to drink, you know, 
too much, you know, but she does not follow that. So when she was there, she was already pretty much, you know, fucked up. You know, she, she was blitzed. And it looked like she was in the mood for confrontation. So she, she was emotional and confrontational and wanting to do something like 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 one in a box or you know it was it was very weird so let me let me let me break it down okay we're there and she she says well, I, I want you guys I, I want you guys no 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 hold on before that she says my son said that he couldn't deal with me today with my shit today so that he wasn't gonna talk to me today and well my friend I mean, my, 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 he's my friend as well obviously but my boss uh, and I look at each other like what the fuck so I start thinking well I wonder what is it that you do that would make your son not want to speak to you because of how you react you know so Right there, I start, I leave it at that. I'm like, hmm. I start thinking. And the situation goes on that she asks, she, she's right there inside of the store, and she asks, what do you, what do you guys think of me? And, and I were like, well, you know, Tuli, uh, you're, you're, we think you're cool. You know, we think you're a, you're a cool person. We think you're all right. We, we think you, you know, you you have an, addic an addictive personality because, you know, what I said earlier. And uh, that she needed therapy. And that's what I told her, you know. And it, for some reason, I think it seemed to upset her that I told her that. So she got aggressive AF, okay? Aggressive AF. She was like, so what's up then, George? So what's up? So what's up? Like, 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 like going like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, straight up, fucking masculine energy, dude. You know, like, wanting to buck up with, with a dude. You know what I mean? So it's like, it, it was very odd because... I've never had a female want to buck up to me, you know? It's like, uh, <laughs> what the fuck do you think you're doing? You know? So, at the moment, I'm just like, well, what are you talking about? Uh, I, what? What? What do you mean, so what's up? And she's like, so what's up, though? Like, I said, what's up? And I'm like, well, what are you talking about, bro? Like, what do you want me to answer? Like, that there's no question, there's no substance or there's no subject there, uh, I don't know how to answer that fucking question. So I look at my boss like, bro, what does she want me to answer? You know, like, what? And, and, and he asked her too, like, well, what, what, what are you talking about, Tuli? What are you talking about? Like, that doesn't even make sense. Like, there's nothing to answer in your question. And she's like, no, well, what, what about me? And then well, I, I was like, well, I, I just told you. So I repeated everything over again. And then she starts crying. You know, so... It, it was very odd. The confrontation was just, like, too much. Like, bro, like, like she... Look, she, 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 she would think things on her own that supposedly we're the one saying or thinking of. You know what I'm saying? So it's like she thought that I thought she was crazy. So before this whole weird situation happened, I, I like she was looking at the pipes and I walked by her behind the counter, you know, and she's like, I'm not crazy, okay? And I was like, um, okay, like, what the fuck, 
I, I, I wasn't even looking at her because she doesn't. She doesn't do anything with that section right there with the pipe. She don't smoke or nothing like. I mean, she smokes cigarettes, but she doesn't use a pipe, to, uh, tobacco, you know, for that. She, she just smokes on cigarettes and that's it. No loose tobacco. So, you know, I just, I just walk by and that's what she told me. And I was just like, well, you sure are making yourself look fucking crazy by doing that shit because it's like nobody's talking about that. Nobody's thinking that. I mean, now I am. Now that you're just fucking like, hey, I'm not crazy, okay? And it's like, well, bro, what are you even talking about, man? Like, bro, what? So, it, some customers walked in, all right? I, it was a good, I think it was two or three, four customers walk in. And, uh, hold on, before that. Before that, she she had asked that if you know uh, all customers. She had said, you know, all all your customers are friends, and my boss was like, no, not all customers are our friends. There might be some, but no, the like we're 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 at work. We're working like this is business at first and foremost. It's not friends and business, so. You know, uh, she had that backwards because she assumed that, you know, it was supposed to be friends and then business because she thought that we got along with everybody the way we got along with her, I guess, or some something like that because she said that and then my boss answered it and she was like, well, why why is it that you would, you know, why would you do that? And it's like, well, because there's a difference. Like, if if you if you don't have a difference of both, then something's bound to go wrong because you're not supposed to you're not supposed to make shit like that. You know what I mean? So uh, that's what my boss basically said. Like, no, like that's wrong. Like, wh whoever you know, thinks that way is basically wrong, and in my opinion as well, yeah, it's true. Also, the other thing that came out was that she asked, and this is what also ticked her off, Tuli said, oh, how can you be street smart and book smart, but then still get fucked over? And it's like, that question is as ridiculous as it can be, because it's like if you were book smart and if you were street smart, both at the same time, then you wouldn't have got fucked over. You know, it, it's that simple. And and this this lady thinks that, well, I'm book smart and I'm street smart, so I just don't know, but I'm still getting fucked over. So, you know, but it's like, well, think. You're not. <laughs> You're not. You're not, you're not, uh, like, uh, book smart, you're not street smart, you're nothing of that. You're basically dumb if you're getting fucked over and over and over and over and over for 56 years. Or maybe put, what, um, 56 minus 18, you know what I'm saying? Whatever that is. Um, you've been getting fucked over for those many years. Because you're dumb, you know. Because you you don't use your brain, or or look. And she's missing a bunch of teeth, bro. I think she's she used to do meth, or, or heroin, or so. She still does. I don't know. She she doesn't look like she still does anything like that. She looks like she just drinks a lot and smokes cigarettes. But she only got one tooth right here, bro. She only got one, and, and it and we. I don't even want to get into it, bro. But. There's so many things. It's funny shit. Anyways, uh, my friend answers her about the book Street Smarts, and it looks like she gets offended. It, it, it's like if she wanted us to feed into her, into her delusion. So she got mad, and then from there everything escalated. But then. Like I said, customers came in, and she basically kicked herself out because 
there's too many people for me or for us to be there just relaxing with her or talking to her while we have customers over here that might have questions if we have specific uh, beers, uh, liquors, or wines, or whatever it is from the smoke section side. So, you know, we go over here, we start helping the people, I'm answering questions, I'm showing shit, and I all randomly, I just hear, all right, well, bye, George. And, and like, like in a weird tone, you know, so I turn around and I was like, all right, bye, bye, Tuli. And Tuli just walks right out the door and, and she leaves. So, you know, the day comes to an end. I speak to my boss about this uh, the, the day next, the next day. And uh, it came down to, you know what? We, we let her overstep the boundaries. She broke rules that weren't supposed to be broken. And she did things that she wasn't supposed to do. And she treated people how you don't treat friends. You know, the way you're supposed to treat your friends she didn't do that. She, she actually treated us like if we were, uh, how should I put it, um, I don't know, uh, her enemies or, I don't know, somebody that she just didn't like and she wanted to buck up with and, you know, we're going to fucking duke it out and shit. That, that shit, it's just not, dude. You don't do that to people who opened the tab for you and for people that would front you shit for people that would consider you a friend, for people that would let you chill there and, and talk to us, kind of like your mini therapist, because everything that you would say is always, was always about fucking bullshit, you know, like what's going on in your life, and then you start crying, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, why the fuck would you do that to somebody? Like, are you dumb? Do you not have any brains? So... Bro, eventually it got to the point that my boss and I were like, okay, she can't chill here anymore. Obviously, we already told her she can't bring her dog here anymore. And she she just can't hang out here anymore. And she's basically banned. But unless she wants to just go in there and buy stuff, she can just go in, buy her shit, and get the fuck out. You know what I mean? And that's the policy from here on out. So... Uh, the next day, you know, she doesn't show up in the morning. I'm not there. And my boss is there at the time that the store opens, which is 11. And <clears throat> the, the one time that we thought she would have showed up, she actually did not. You know, she took forever. And then, eventually, just eventually. Hold on, hold on. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. So, my boss is there. He, he's, he opens up. She's usually the first one through the door, right? 11, she's right there on the dot, ready to get some more stuff. You know what I mean? So... He, he opens, he sets up the flags, you know, he turns on the LED signs, you know, he turns on the lights in the fridges, you know what I mean, the, the, this, you know, what you gotta do. So, he's there waiting, and time goes by, time goes by, he calls me, I ask him, has she, has she shown up? No, she hasn't. Alright, so, it gets to the point that she doesn't show up. And it's, it's about, it's time for me to go in. I show up. Bruh. As soon as I show up, my boss needs to leave. So he wasn't the one that was going to have to address her, which I, which I, I kind of wanted him to address her, not me. And guess what? Guess what my luck gives me? As soon as he steps out, and drives off, uh, drives out of the parking lot, drives off. My co-worker pulls in. But at the same time, who pulls in? Tuli. Fuck. You know, so I, I let my, my co-worker in, my homeboy. I let him in. And he, you hear the door from the front open. And it says front door. You know, so 
I look and it's like, damn it, it's Thule. It's, 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 it's destined for me to tell her this shit, you know? So, um, my homie, my, my uh, you know, co-worker, he's right there at the register, which is at the front of the store. And she, this lady is like bipolar, bro. That's what it has to be, too. She's bipolar and lonely, I guess. Or bipolar and getting beat the shit out of. I'm not sure because she walks in like nothing happened. Like she didn't talk shit to us. Like, like, basically like, hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? Hey, hey it's a cool day. It's very good. I know, huh? Nice weather outside. And we're just like, Mike looks at me. I look at my, oh, my, my co-worker and I'm just like, bro, what the f- and that ship, and then bro, first thing she says coming in through that door is something about the dog again, about the fucking dog being banned, so it's like, man, this fucking lady, this fucking bitch is pissing me off, you know what I mean, so right there, I'm already pissed, I can feel it, I feel it, I'm mad, and I don't know, Michael decided, or, or my co-worker decided to get off of the register, and I got on the register, and so I was the closest one to Thule, and uh, Thule looks at me, and she can sense it, I know I, I give off this aura, like, if I'm pissed off, I give off this aura that you're gonna know what the fuck, so she's just looking at me, and I look at her, and I, I just, you know, I turn around, I'm like, just whatever, you know, like, what the fuck, I'm not going to keep on looking at you after what the fuck you did yesterday, you know, like, what the fuck? And she just kept staring at me, staring at me, I felt it, and then I was looking off over here, and she, I looked again, she was still looking at me, and uh, I just turned around and started, started talking to Mike, right? And when she was like, all right, well, tell your boss that I, I, I know I still owe, but that, uh, you know, I, uh, yeah, I, I remember, and it was like, well, that's not what we want to hear, we want to hear... I got the money, you know, not that I remember. So it's like, all right, cool, whatever. She walks out, right? She gets in her car. She puts it in reverse, and she reverses, like, maybe three to, to seven feet and then puts it back on drive, parks the car again, and she opens the door, and she gets right off. And then she comes right back into the store, and here we go. Uh, I said, oh, man, this is going to, it's going down. It's going down, baby. So she walks back in, and she 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 walks up to the register, and she's like, well, I just wanted to say, and she starts, like, like crying because she could pull her tears out on demand. Like, she's a good actor. Like, she could be a good like, because of all the missing teeth and how old she looks, and she has, like, fucked up skin right here on her arm. Like, she could be a undercover. Like, pff, she would pull that shit off, like, like the best. The best, you know what I mean? But, uh, I don't know. She door dashes, whatever the fuck. It's stupid. But anyways, see, she, bruh, she says, uh, I'm sorry for what happened yesterday. And I, I, I don't remember, but I know uh, I, I know something happened, but I'm sorry. And I was like, oh, yeah, so you can tell me you remember the tab, right? And you can tell me that you remember, because she's like, um, is it because I brought up my son? And I was just like, bro, what does your son have to do with any of this? Like, for real? Like, we don't know him? And, like, what the fuck does he have to do with anything? But now I understand why your son does not want to deal with your shit, like you told us. Because you're a fucking, you're a fucking lunatic. You know what I'm saying? And we told her, no, he has nothing to do with it. That conversation or that subject had nothing to do with shit. What had to do with what your actions, what you said, and what you did. That's just all it is. And she asked me. She had the audacity to ask me, what did I do? 
She's, and I was like, bro, I'm not going to explain what the fuck you did. Because if you're not, you know, going to own up to it, then you're just a piece of shit and you're not an adult. And you're walking around like a little kid or a little fucking teenage girl. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I was like, I'm not explaining shit to you, Tuli. All right? I ain't explaining shit. You know what you did. And if you remember, fuck it. Oh, well. But you fucked up yesterday, so you're not allowed here anymore. You can't chill here. I laid down the law. I told her, you can't come and chill here anymore. You fucked it up. Yeah, I mean, uh, obviously your dog uh, can't be here anymore. You already knew that, but you fucked it up. And then uh, you can still buy here. You can still buy stuff, but uh, you can just come in, buy your shit, and go. That's it, and you can't you pay your tab off, and we ain't giving you no more tabs, cash only, yeah, or card. You know what I'm saying? And that's it. I laid down the law. I told her what's up, and you know, it, it got to the point that uh, she started crying again, and she was all tearful right there, you know, fucking crocodile tears like a motherfucker, and you know, I just told her she's like. She said, I've never said sorry to anybody in my life, and you guys are the first ones I tell sorry to. And I was like, bitch, do you honestly think I believe that? Like, how fucking dumb do you think I am? You know what I mean? Like, I guess you, I don't know, I don't, whatever, you know, that's fucking stupid, bro. Like, this fucking dumb bitch, man. So... It, she she's like I'm sorry and I was like okay well I'm not gonna say I forgive you because I don't because you did some stupid shit and you said some stupid shit so it's like nah doc like th there's a boundary you you can't come back from and you don't cross that boundary a long time ago homegirl you know so uh, that's it that's all that's a wrap right there you know what I mean and she was like okay well I tell your boss, I, I remember the account, you know, the tab, and it's like, bro, that's not what we want to hear. That's We want the money now. Like, you said you were going to pay us the next day. It's the next day, and you say you just remember it. Like, bro, pay, pay your fucking tab off, and then if you're going to buy more, buy some, and get the fuck out of here, you know? Go, go, go fuck with somebody else's fucking life. Because, you know, uh, we like to live chill. We like to live with no hassles, no problems, no bitching, no moaning, no fucking crying that my son or, or my fucking ex-husband used to beat me or my other ex-husband died and uh, I don't know what to do. And like, girl, fuck all that shit, bro. I'm a single 31-year-old motherfucker that ain't got nothing to do with none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? So, fuck all that. Tuli, you're fucking demented. You need a goddamn therapist. And you need to grow the fuck up. But you're already 50-something, 50 56 years old. You, you already going out the door. It sucks, but, I mean, I don't think you're going to change, so... I mean, uh, change is hard for old bucks. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> it is what it is. Ladies and gentlemen, I know that was a pretty long one. Uh, I'm sorry. Let me just finish it up real quick. She left. She said she, she would pay us back. And uh, she, did, she hasn't showed up. We're going to open tomorrow. Uh, and uh, I'll update you guys tomorrow to see if she comes back and pays her tab off or not. All right, so sorry, guys. I know this was a long one, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. It, it was uh, quite a roller coaster of a video. So if you liked it, please hit that like button. Share it to your friends. You know, let, let them have a laugh. Uh, you know what it is. Like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Make sure to hit that bell to stay notified whenever I drop new vids. And ladies and gentlemen, I'll be seeing you on the next episode with your host. TV. Peace. Fucking Tuli, you bitch.